Hey, it's T-Mac. I kill you with truth about a great win for the Avalanche tonight as they beat the New York Islanders 5-4 to four in overtime. Huge night for the choo-choo train. Val Nachushkin with a couple of goals and drawing a critically important penalty near the end of the game. That led to a power play in the overtime, 4-on-3. Nathan McKinnon, who had already collected a couple of points, buries a goal for the game winner. So Nate's point-scoring streak rolls on. He's the first star in the NHL for the past month. He's arguably the best player in the world. And um, I asked him a dumb question. Listen, it was a weird goal with Val um, earlier in the game when Kale McCarr <laughs> tried to blast a shot from the point. The blade of his stick went up in the air like like unusually high, like – you know, just like, wow, what happened? But what you didn't follow, because you're following the blade of the stick, what you weren't following is the puck kind of in slow motion, going right to Nate at the side of the net. I mean, perfectly. I mean, right there, but very slowly. And Nate just swept the puck in front to Val, and Val finished right in front of the goalie. He got his first goal, picking up the garbage after Gerard hit the pipe, and the puck bounced up. Same exact spot for Val. Finish there. Like I said, Val went to the net hard, drew a penalty um, at the end of regulation with about 20 seconds. That led to the game winner. Nathan McKinnon described Val Nachushkin as a beast. Um, uh, Jared Bednar, after the game, had super praise for Val Nachushkin in terms of just what he's been, which is amazing. And Val Nachushkin very politely declined comment after the game, saying, He's already done that once, and maybe that's all you get this year. The only issue Val's going to have is how well he's playing. There are going to be more big nights like that for him. And in terms of just that unit playing together, I mean, everybody plays better with Nathan McKinnon out there, that's for sure. But Nachushkin was actually on a line centered by Ryan Johansson with uh, Colton. And, and Bednar splitting up that Colton-Wood line, uh, but... You know, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad. Wood was on that line, Colton was on the third line. My bad. Um, I get those guys mixed up all the time. That being said, some other interesting things Semyon Varlamov in net for the Islanders and sort of left under mysterious circumstances early in the game. And so, you know, you get the uh, you get the sort of head scratcher, and then when you're out with injury and the other goalie's in, you have a chance. For the e-bug, the emergency backup goalie didn't get there, but it's always kind of interesting. Like, oh, maybe that could happen tonight. Um, pretty rare to happen. Did not happen tonight. The Islanders are a good team, and they got a little bit lucky. A puck went in off Jack Johnson's skate. Um, but Bednar said that he didn't love the third goal that, that Georgie gave up, and he did. He did consider taking him out of the game. He did. But in the end, he stuck with him. He let him battle through things. And, yeah, the, Georgia gave up one more goal, but the Avs came from behind a couple of different times, a couple of different times to win 5-4 in overtime. So despite kind of the up-and-down nature, there actually has been a little bit more consistency to this team. They've been playing better, more consistently, and the top line has top lines, top six has been fabulous. It was interesting. Bednar did explain how he divvies up ice time, and he did start the fourth line tonight, and he rolled all four lines in the first period, but he wasn't shy about it. He talked about a tough conversation he had with Curtis McDermott where he just laid it out like, hey, listen, ice time is going to come more for you and the other guys on the bottom six if we're winning games. If not, I'm going to go with the best players that give us the best chance to win, and that's just the way it is, and that's, that's just kind of the tough harsh reality of the situation. Caleb Jones and Curtis McDermott were scratches tonight. So the the Avalanche await a Turi Lekkinen, who I see all the time around here, so getting better and better and better. Sam Girard out for his second game, had a bad moment early in the game where he whiffed on a shot and then got beat, kind of an unlucky bounce. The puck bounced over his stick and allowed a breakaway that, that resulted in a goal that made it one nothing. Um, but he's getting back into the rhythm of things, too. And when you have Nathan McKinnon, who's the best player on earth, you have Nathan, Miko, and Val all with 19 goals. 
And then Ryan Johansson is just a, a few goals behind them. So you're getting more production and you're getting some character testers like tonight was. And with the Panthers and the Bruins and Vegas coming to town, man, we are in for a slate of some awesome hockey. And right now... You know, the Avs may be playing the best they have all year. They're starting to find the rhythm. They're starting to find out who they are. Uh, they're figuring out ways to win. Good night. Really good night at Ball Arena for the Avalanche. I kill you with truth. 5-4 winning overtime. Way to go, boys.